one of the things that we have to understand is how range or what the ranges of knife fighting are, okay? You already just did one. Largo mano, long hand. Or long range. Largo mano, that's the furthest one, okay? When we look at Largo mano, if you notice something, a few things happen. One, I can clear from there to there in, in one simple thing, right? We're constantly chasing distance. The big name, the big ticket in Largo Mono range is maintain distance. And so footwork uh, is a good thing because, and it's available, you have the, the space to be able to do that. Okay, and sometimes that works for you and sometimes it doesn't. Second thing that you should notice about is we never engage the second hand. It always is done with the blade because putting the second hand in the long, like you're, you're putting it in the fight for no good reason. For those of you guys who've done some other edge weapons with me, I always say, look, start feeding the rear hand too. So sometimes you cut the hand that's got the knife, sometimes you cut the hand that's punching. And so that's one aspect of things too. Um, I like Largo Mano. If I have a preferred place to be, that's where it's going to be. The problem with this is it doesn't always work on my preference. My preferred place to be is not in the middle of a knife fight. Um, second one in, whatever I did the marker over here, well, go with this one, is what we call dos manos, two hands. Some of you may know that as sumbrada range. Uh, oh, and let me steal you. Oh, here we go. Largo mano, I can touch his hand, he can't touch my body. Okay? Dos manos, I can touch his hand with my rear hand. That's basically sumbrata range, okay? This is, I have to start activating the second hand over here because speed, power, momentum happen. So even if he's giving give me, a, there you go. Uh, even if he's giving me that angle and I defang the snake but I don't do anything else, it's gonna still cut me. And so the only way to prevent that is to be able to put my rear hand into the fight as well, right? And so that's why we call this sombrata one for one. I feed something and he cuts and checks, and then he feeds something and I cut and check, and then I feed and then he cuts and check, and you know, like, and so we have this, the rear hand's always coming in doing something, okay? Here's the problem with dos manos. It is mutual destruction. Both of us are getting hacked up and done for, okay? So we try to avoid dos manos as much as possible, like it's the plague. We just don't want to be there because it's too much 50-50. At least at distance, I got the opportunity to stay away. At, in this middle range where both of our blades can touch each other's bodies, it's 50-50. Versus with the most kind of thing. Make sense? Okay. And then CQB, the real term. Uh, okay. Is... Corto manos, that's the Filipino term for it. Close quarters, close hand, corto manos. Right, so these are our three ranges when it comes to edge weapons.